Hey guys, in today's video I want to show you how to hook up an OLED display with an Arduino. Now if you've never done this before, the whole project should take you less than 15 minutes. The reason I know that is because I timed it myself. From the time that I opened the package till the time that it was working on the Arduino was less than 15 minutes. And that was even being interrupted by a phone call and having to search around all my junk for uh, a particular color of jumper wire that I wanted to use. The only thing that was different uh, from the example files that I used from the specific OLED display that I had, there were two settings and I had to change those to make it work. I'll show you that in this video. Okay guys, here we are at the computer and let's just get started. I'll show you exactly the way that I went through getting this OLED display hooked up to Arduino. First I went to Google, typed in OLED display and it already had one there for you. O OLED display Arduino. Hit enter and luckily the very first, I just scroll down here, the very first link guide for I2C OLED display with Arduino from Random Nerd Tutorials was the one that I used and it's the exact same display that that I had happened to be so depending on which one you you have you may have to change it up a little bit but it has four pins on it and it's a very simple setup so um, you can you can use this tutorial and I'll put it in the description description below as well but quickly I'll just run through it it introduces the display which I'm not going to go through but you can see it there on the picture and then we'll go straight down to pin wiring which is what I did basically I skipped all the reading and just went right to it. So the pin wiring, there's only four wires. You have the 5 volt that needs plugged in, the ground. You need to plug in uh, one of the pins to A5 and one of the pins to A4. Now you have this diagram here that you use and on the OLED display itself the little um, descriptions of the pins may be different from what you have and it was for me but um, it's the same regardless. So the ground plugs in to the first pin there on the left and then you have the 5 volts to the second pin the third pin plugged into A5 the white one and then the fourth pin there plugged into A4 that was very straightforward so after that you get it all plugged in ready to go you go you the next step is you need to instru install the libraries and the libraries that I use uh, were the ones that it recommended, the Adafruit libraries it's very easy to install and on the left side of my screen here I already have uh, Arduino open so I'll show you how you go about that you just go to sketch include library and then you go to manage libraries click that it comes up with your library manager here and in the library manager there's two sets of libraries you're going to need that the tutorial will tell you and the OLED display that we're using is the SSD 1306 and so you type that in and it'll come up here the second one you can see it says Adafruit SSD 1306 and here it is uh, I've already installed it but if you haven't you just click install and it takes a couple seconds to install and that'll be good now you need to do library number two which is for the graphics GFX hit enter and the first one that comes up there from Adafruit GFX library and I've already installed it again if you haven't just click install it only takes a couple seconds and it'll install once you've done that close out and uh, you're almost ready to go the libraries and everything that you just downloaded now will come with an example so if you've already got the pins plugged in to the Arduino in the first step now you've downloaded the libraries you're gonna want to close out of your Arduino um, IDE and just reopen it to make sure it loads those libraries properly and we'll do that here and now you're going to want to load the sketch which I've already done but I'll show you how to do go file examples and now you're going to see down here at the bottom Adafruit SSD 1306 from that library that you just installed and it has a few different options here depending on what display that you have and I have the SSD 1306 128 by 64 with the I2C so I'm selecting that one there okay it pulls it up now this is the step that I wanted to show you once you have it here we're gonna upload this to the Arduino but before we do there were two things um, that I needed to change to make this work and so um, I'll show you that quickly 
right here, and it tells you this in the tutorial as well. If you try it and it doesn't work, it says try these different things. So I'll just tell you, because if you have the same display that I have, you're going to have to change these. This one here where it says uh, the OLED reset, and it's defaulted to 4 in the example code. And it tells you here, uh, set it to negative 1 if sharing Arduino reset pin. So just go ahead and do that. That's what I needed to do. I set that to negative 1. And then the other thing that I needed, needed to do, I'm going to scroll down here a little bit. And we go to the, this is where you need the address for the particular um, display that you're using. And the default one here is set to 3D. If you'll see this here, here's the address. And I needed to change my, that D to a C. And in the tutorial on the um, website that I showed you, it actually has, and I may show it at the end of this video actually, but it has a code where it, it has some code you can upload to your Arduino where it'll detect what the address is that you need to use. And I, I, I did end up using that to check to see what the address was just because I was curious. But um, in the beginning, I just changed it to what, um, to what these guys needed to change for theirs since I knew that they were using the same display as me. So anyway, just change this to uh, 3C and you should be good to go. Now just go up here and hit upload. It will compile the sketch and upload it to the Arduino. And then you can see if your display is working properly. If so, it's going to show a few pictures and some text and uh, all the example code that shows you how the display works. And that's pretty much it. You're done. From there, you can uh, start to explore and, and figure out how to customize the display for whichever project you're going to use. So now that we've done that, and you can also, this tutorial, um, that the random nerd tutorial that I showed you, um, I just skipped through and kind of showed you the basics of getting up and going with the display. But if you explore it a little bit further, it gives um, a lot more detail and it has quite a few different examples um, that you can go through that are real interesting. Um, also, I think I'll actually I think I'll just leave the video there. But um, just explore that tutorial. I don't feel like I need to reinvent the wheel because these guys already did a fantastic job in their tutorial. So I was going to show you a few other things in the tutorial, but um, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave that for you guys to explore. It's a great tutorial. I'll, I'll put it in the description tags uh, below, and hopefully you got up and running with the display and have a lot of fun. So if you watched the video, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.